Dallas woman and her dog who was stolen outside a grocery store will enjoy the holidays together thanks to the power of social media and an extremely determined stranger. Fox 4's Natalie Solis here now with that story. Natalie. Well, Steve, if you were driving by on busy Mockingbird Lane, would you notice a missing dog you'd seen only briefly on social media? Chances are probably not, but one woman did, and it's what she did next that most people would never and probably should never attempt. Pretty sure, secure. She's not going to get out of it unless she like bites through the leash. Angela Ream and her six year old chocolate lab Wiley made a routine stop at Trader Joe's on Greenville Avenue last Tuesday evening. I think I literally went inside to get milk. <laughs> when Ream left the store, Wiley was gone. It's the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> Lose your little baby girl. She immediately posted on Facebook and hoped for the best. I was just driving by um, Mockingbird. Alyssa Sanderford, who didn't know Reem, happened to see a Facebook repost the following morning. I'm going down the street and I see the brown lab with the bright orange collar. And I was like, That's the dog I was just looking at. She stopped to confront the man standing at a bus stop holding Wiley's leash. I walked right up to him and I said, I know the dog is stolen. You need to give it back. And he I don't know what you're talking about. And I went to go reach for the leash and he was not happy. And I, I grabbed the leash and he jerked it out. And then he just started running and I was like, well, I'll have to stop him. Sanderford chased the man across Mockingbird through a neighborhood barefoot for 35 minutes. People watching her run by, even joining the chase, including some guys at a nearby Goodwill and a couple who let her hop in their car for part of the pursuit. She was really out of breath and um, she was like, Angela, you don't know me, but I've seen your dog. I'm chasing after <laughs> the Goodwill guys finally caught up to the man and police swooped in along with a very grateful Reem who's expecting. I just kept thinking like she's she's going to be such a good big sister. She has to be around to, to see the little baby and Reem and Sanderford are now friends bound by a love for dogs and their humans. It doesn't sound like the safest <laughs> um, chase, but we're certainly glad that she did it. <laughs> well, Sanderford says she and her her boyfriend rather wasn't too pleased to learn that she was in a foot chase to recover a dog, but they are both glad it had a happy ending. As for Reem, she says she does not plan to press any charges against that man. Steve. That is a crazy good story, Natalie. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.